year with the new and improved uh, yeah. I, I version think, two. I hope to see it at some other events because I do think it has some real potential. Yeah. Looks like Corey's taking down game scores so we can get into the um, second the heat of this round. Uh, first round. I'm going to go see if I can find out the match play link so we can get some standings after that. Oh, definitely. Uh, group. So as a reminder, this is PinFest 2019 Gauntlet Finals first round. I'm Lewis Bevins here with the uh, PinFest broadcast. Our format tonight is we had 81 people enter, played six games, took the best six, five out of the six, and we have the top 12 left over. I'll be uh, joining in the second round off the bye, so the top four players received a bye. But right now we have this, and soon we'll have the second heat of our first round. How we are running this is four players play four games simultaneously. So everybody plays player one, move to the next game. You'll play player two, move to the next game. You'll play player three, move to the last game. You'll play player four, and you'll just keep going around the circle until everybody's played a game. It's kind of a way to speed things up. We've got about two hours here left in the day. Main qualifying is still going on down the far end. And once our uh, friend here comes back, he should have some results from our first heat of this first round. After he grabs a photo, we will have the results of the first seed of the first round. Well, we have a moment. Let's see uh, what else we can get ourselves into here. Oh, hey, it's Black Knight. And it's Buddy, Black Knight, Sword of Rage. Both uh, games from the main bank. We also have a nice playing Atlantis. And here's all of the sponsors. Thanks to Rage Till, Pinball Gallery, Pin Crossing, Rock Room, Modern Pinball, Pin Sound, Pinball Star, um, Railroad Street, Marco, Starship Fantasy, Mrs. Pin's Pinball Podcast. And as this is, thank you to Stern for hosting this as part of the Stern Pro Circuit. We have seven different divisions here. We have the Open Division, which is the circuit event. We have a Women's division, seniors division, kids, young adults, newbies for anybody who's got less than uh, five games, and Pinburg, so win your way into Pinburg if you don't have a ticket. I think that's really exciting. I mean, oh, yes. We have a couple players. Not too many people enter. I think a lot of people here are already in Pinburg, which is pretty great for them considering <laughs> how quickly it's sold out. Um, but we do have some players competing in that. There will be a raffle for one ticket and a uh, qual I think the highest finisher, not qualifier. But yes, highest, highest finisher. finisher. Who does not have a pin? Who has entered and does not have a Pinberg ticket will earn that Pinberg ticket. So, have you been uh, to any of these locations on here, Lewis? We have Railroad Ooh. Street Bar and Grill in the suburbs of Philadelphia. We have Pinball Gallery in the suburbs of Philadelphia. Pin Crossing is actually the arcade. That's the pinball arcade located at Railroad Street. That's the name Pin Crossing Railroad Street. You can see that there. Uh, did I see that you were in the Philadelphia area recently? Yes, I was unfortunately there on a Monday, so Pinball Gallery was closed. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, last year I met all the great people, great folks from Rage Tilt, um, have a few of their shirts. Um, Marco, I actually, my parents live about an hour north of here, so I stay with them about around Hazleton, so. That's cool, that's great. We got that's that. Um, yeah, not too far, probably. Uh, oh, an hour north of here. Hour north is where I'm staying. Oh, okay. So that's um, R Rock Fantasy, probably not too far from there, I would think. Maybe About an hour. Two hours two or hours. so. Okay. Yeah, not it's so close uh, either. Yeah, <laughs> it's like 81. I have to go up 81, then 84, a little bit on it. No, it's right off of 84, so about, yeah, an hour and a half, two hours. I recently took my first trip to Rock Fantasy. Fantastic store. Oh, my goodness. A small town in New York, Middletown, New York. Yeah. Has must be 30 pins at Rock Fantasy. And then there's a bowling alley that opened recently and has another 15 pins. And wow. All of these games are like games you want to play. No yes. duds, just like good condition, strong games. At a, affordable prices, too. I think the games at Rock Fantasy were 75 cents. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like awesome. Monster Bash, like uh, the new one. The, uh, I, know the guy, I know the guy who runs it up there is an amazing pinhead and also just a general like rock, hit, like rock punk metalhead. And, then, uh, and it's just like a, a great eclectic a great eclectic music collection with a great pinball collection. Yeah, I didn't spend too much time exploring the store, though. I wish I had because they had a lot of stuff going on there. Um, and if you're looking for a head shop, not a bad place to go. 
uh, Pinball Gallery and Pin Crossing. Both of those are in the Philadelphia area. Oh, we got players stepping up the machines. We'll get back to our sponsors a little later. Want to watch Super Sonic? Let's watch Super Sonic. All right, let's see. Super Sonic is currently off, being turned on. There we go. I think that is Davey Plasted. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or even remembering it correctly. <laughs> Stepping up on Super Sonic. So as Lewis pointed out, the skill shot is really rolling over to that two in the top middle that opens your gate and lights your uh, spinner. And yeah, similar to the game eight ball, if you use the gate, your spinner turns off. So, uh, but worth the ball save to keep it in play. Plunges the five. I don't know the advantage of getting one through five, but that's progress. So one through five, also Ooh, quite useful. It's 25,000 points if you complete it. Plus, for each one of the numbers you get, you light a rollover that'll advance your bonus in the uh, center of the play field. And so those rollovers are actually in a row on the left side. So if you light those all, all of those can be worth yep. some good points going that'll, down that that's lane. That's your second time around. Okay. So the first time around, you get the circle in the center rollovers. The second time, you get the line on the left. Gotcha. And those will both advance your bonus, score you some points. There's also a saucer that advances your bonus multiplier. Which on this game max bonus is about a hundred thousand, so it's no slouch. Right. It all oh advances your bonus multiplier, so you can up to five hundred thousand in bonus if you get it all the way up. Well, twenty times five, but oh, yes. 20, okay, I see. Yeah. The highest can be a hundred thousand. Yeah, the highest could be a hundred, and it's. I use that to my advantage in um, qualifying. I didn't have a good ball one or ball two. I couldn't get the uh, skill shot lane, <laughs> but I got max bonus, so uh, I had a decently good game. Looks like we have Howard Levine on Supersonic right now. Yep. He's got his bonus working his way up. Looks like one of the bonus lights is out, and he's got that bonus at what is that? Twenty thousand? Is that? That's a ten right there. Okay, so there's a ten thousand light. Yeah, I got. There's you. a star. That star on the right is the twenty thousand light. And Howard drains uh, on the way down. We got some. There's some action on Little Chief. You can see on the screen. Let's see if we can switch over there before he drains. And he drains. Uh, and he drains. Unfortunately. Oh, we can watch the we drain. We get to see it enter the trough. Not a bad view. And most painfully, we got to watch the uh, gate be open. That's always <laughs> oh. painful on that game. Is when you got that gate open, it's like, I just need to hit the gate. And so this is uh, Steven Zoller stepping up to Supersonic. Yep. I believe he's a co-owner of Modern Pinball in New York City, a fantastic location in the kind of right in the center of town. Uh, they've got It's a free play model, so you pay, I think, something like 15 or 18 or $20 for the day. Mm -hmm. and I think you can do shorter if you want, and you can play any of their machines as long as you want. It was yeah. actually the first location I played. Uh, oh, unfortunate sling Ugh. to out lane combo. Not your preferred combo. That is the one risky part of that left lane is sometimes you will get a ball into the sling and you've got to fight it. Um, and with this game, there is no up nudging, so... Is that right? Tight tilt? Is that right? It is, it's got a side to side. It's all right. Up, it's very tight. Gotcha. So on a lot of games, you might see people try to pop, push up and try to get uh, some better uh some better top lanes Roll to get some uh yeah action. leverage that action to get a two uh -huh. here if you try to do that that game is just gonna say tilt next player goodbye yeah i learned about that like a little up nudge action a little kind of slam on the on the uh lock bar action to try to get your bumpers to fire and get them a little more power yeah learned about those watching uh steve bowden play through the pinberg banks last year yeah long video very cool to watch a real marathon to get through it for your viewers <laughs> as your player in that situation, but worth it to get that uh, valuable advantage. It was uh, a true gauntlet. It. <laughs> it, that, that was a true gauntlet. I would love to see a tournament. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 300 machines. That would be the, that would be the most amazing <laughs> gauntlet ever, if not impossible to organize. <laughs> uh, so who is this? I don't recognize this player, unfortunately. Uh, me neither. Pull. My... Uh, my Eastern PA name Foo is not on point. So. I assume this is Nick DiStefano because I believe Davey's the taller guy who I don't recognize. Mm -hmm. So Nick DiStefano, I want to say he plays in the Boston area. Let's see if we can pull ah. up his profile. Uh, don't know really how, but maybe we can. And let's see how this, that's a nice feed out of the left lane, right to the left flipper, right oh, back to the goes. spinner. The spinner's not lit yet, but a good rip there. Yeah. Let's see what happens again. This is this is some nice. Oh, and he hits the center target, and the center target says no. Let's see. Still a solid ball one with a double bonus, about 26 from that. Oh, and right. we are back to our the top of the uh, lineup the here on ball lineup. two. 
That's a good way to put it. Yeah, we got Davey on first base, which is supersonic. We got Nick moving down to second base, which I assume is... Uh, this is a mixed metaphor now. It's all baseball, but we really <laughs> got it mixed up. Uh, that is a great pop bumper right there. Let's see if he can pay it off. All right, yeah, he's got the spinner lit. He's got his gate open. Oh, no payoffs yet. Lots of bonus from the rollovers, though. All right, one spin there. That might have been worth a 1,000, not 100% on it. Oh! And a drain, unfortunate. And more unfortunate is he hit the lockdown bar and tilted. Oh, no. I hope he didn't tilt through. I, uh, he looks like he is I safe. can't tell if he's tilted through, but he's definitely tilted away about 15 in bonus. Oh, that's too bad. He's going to regret that. But maybe not. Maybe yeah, he's that's this. up on ball three, yeah. collecting his uh, bonus in that hole. That's the thing with that up nudge is not only is Supersonic punishing you for trying to cajole out a top lane it also punishes you if you let out your frustration on the bar <laughs> this so game will call you out on it and not give you your bonus nick de stefano does hail from the boston area strong player up there apparently uh turns out we overlapped in a tournament the other night i i think finished in seventh he finished first so that uh good for him where at that was at flat top johnny's up in boston nice. or up in cambridge yeah it's a uh, mostly a stern location um but they do have attack from mars and uh, really nice condition machines. And a fun just Tuesday night tournament real quick. There you go. Uh, let's see. This is Davey Plasted. Yeah, I uh, I was over at uh, Harrisburg yesterday, and I accidentally ran into um, one of their league nights out there. Oh, yeah. How fun. They have a big collection out there now. They have a decently, they have a decently nice collection. Uh, oh, it was a tilt through. Oh, a tilt through. Unfortunate. So Howard seems to have lost a ball. Um, he'll get a compensation ball at the end. Davey, unfortunately, will take a last. Yep. Davey is hailing from the uh, Connecticut area. Plays at the Sanctum frequently, it looks like, according to his results. Ooh. Davey is ranked 343 on the IFPA. Nick DiStefano ranked 336. So Ooh. some heavy hitters in a close matchup there. Really a oh, yeah. uh, set of players. Yeah, the, uh, the thing with the gauntlet is it seems like... Um, we have a lot of big names here, but uh, not a lot of them actually went for the gauntlet. Everybody tried to go into main qualifying early. Switching over to Little Chief, we see David o yep. Davey over there. Hopefully he gets that uh, tilt through out of his system and just plays nice and relaxed here. He gets the A. He's got the gate yep. open to collect bonus. Bonus at 6,000. Let's see if he goes for double before collecting. Hasn't really... Oh, nice he gets the lane. lane. Let's see and if so this is how Ron hit the uh, gate earlier. He just let it bounce around till it hit off the sling like that. Yeah, oh, close. that's one way to get it. That hey, is one way is. to get it. Fantastic. I think that was about 8,000 in bonus. He's player two. He looks yep. to be in the lead with about 27,000. And he's still got his ball to play. And he's just plunging from the start. That's right. Yeah, he, he just ended ball one with 27,000 and he's on ball two. Uh, that's really what's happening here. Uh, almost a mulligan when you don't even need the mulligan. Oh. All right, some good bounce in action. Staying away from the uh, drains. The slings are trying to find the it's their way back to the gate, surprisingly, but the <laughs> gate is now closed for uh, business. Let's see, he's got the B, wants to grab the A. Looks like, I, you know, from what I've seen, the A, the A seems more achievable. I don't know why that, oh, unfortunate uh, orbit drain just right down the center. Good ball, though, ends at 34,000. With that pop bumper closer, it's a little bit more achievable, especially with the up down up down motion. Oh, is that right? So if you can if you can get a little bit of nudge on the if you can get a feed from the A, you can give it a little bit of nudge, and it could generally go right back up into the A lane for more bonus. There you go, that's pretty valuable. And now we have Howard stepping up on Little Chief, but I think we'll switch back. Yep. We'll tag looks over to Supersonic. Looks like Steven Zoller's about to step up on Supersonic. And he the hits the two. There he goes. Got the spinner and the gate. Oh, and he doesn't get a flip. Fortunate. I think he was a little wary of the tilt there after seeing Davey tilt through. Oh, yes. Because I think with a little nudge, he could have gotten the tip on it, but probably a safer play to guarantee at yeah. least not also tilting through. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point guaranteed right now. So if, if the game says you're not going to flip the ball, agree with it. <laughs> Not a bad outlook. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't have a tilt through during my uh, qualifying game. I definitely hit the lockdown bar, and I saw the immediate flash, and I'm like, uh, please don't do it, and it didn't, and it was great. 
Yeah, luckily you don't get disqualified for tilting through on yourself. You just lose an extra ball. Yes. But it, it just it just makes that tilt feel even worse. Yeah, it's true. That's very true. And we've got ourselves a stuck ball situation over on Raven. And that stuck ball has now been freed. We'll go to the room cam. Uh, so we yeah. can really see, I think we'll be able to see Nick playing there. He's yep. playing Raven. I'm going to peek over the corner here to see how this uh, game of Raven's doing. All right. And while uh, Lewis does that, I think I give an update on the first group. Uh, let's see here. So right now we have player one with 250, player two with 150, player three is sitting, playing right now at about 200,000, and player four, still with the ball in the chamber, is at 145. Very tight game overall on Raven. All right, so after that first group finished, we have Ron Hallett and Levy Naiman moving on with 10 and 8 points respectively. Vic finished last with two, and Steven had a four. So, no four lasts. What's oh, yeah, oh, oh, three lasts, he said. Three lasts, yeah, yeah. Three, three lasts and one, I guess, a second place. All right, looks like we should have someone stepping up to Supersonic in a moment. Yep. We'll switch back to that camera. So, we've got player four on all of our games, ball two. Everybody is stepping up to the machines right now, and we're going to see some action. Nick DiStefano stepping up, player four on Supersonic. Get a decent ball one with a fair amount of bonus, no spinner action, but not, at the end of the day. Not too much pressure on his shoulders right now. He's got a, he's definitely got a guaranteed point, and he's ahead of Steve, who has 12,000. Actually, he's in the lead for the game, so very little pressure right now. Uh, you know, pl yep. player four, I think, is a strong position to play from. It can be intimidating when you see your other <coughs> your competitor's scores, but... Uh, you also get the knowledge of knowing, well, you know, maybe you only need 10,000 points. Maybe you only need 15,000. And everybody in this format gets one game where they're player four on, so they, everybody gets to have that advantage. That's true. Yeah, very. I like that. That's, uh, you know, no one. Uh, ooh. Oof. That might have been a train. misflip there. Uh, but anyway, he's sitting at a formidable 61,000 with everybody else sitting a little bit behind him. Yeah, not bad. 61,000. So since we have a... Dead player walking here. Let's move over to Little Chief for a uh, ball. Let's see. Oh, that's right. That's right. We have a plunge off because of uh, the tilt through. Little Chief following Nick DiStefano down the line. Okay. I was about to say, either the <laughs> camera froze or that was an amazing catch. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's got A and B. So the gate is open. Oh, oh. Oh. The sling almost kicked it through the gate for him. Unfortunately, it instead kicked it down the drain. Tragic ending to that ball, Little Chief, and that will be the uh, next rotation, so at this point we could slide back. Let's see. Uh, yep, Howard Levine stepping up to Supersonic, looks like. All right. He will see. also be rocking a compensation ball. Yeah, so we'll be able to see him get to play uh, an extra ball after this um, because he never got a chance to play his ball two, so he is playing ball three right now. Oh, Ooh. unfortunate flipper action there. He will take the uh, 23,000 and have a ball in hand still. That's that is true. important. That can, do, that can do pretty well for him, especially if he's dialed in that skill shot. Oh, Davey got a double roll in that advanced bonus on the in lane. That's pretty pretty nice. It's a really satisfying part of Little Chief is how how fluid those lane, in lanes are. You can just hold up the flipper and just have it roll up and down and get your letters. Uh, yeah. You can shots this game. And uh, it'll throw the ball in a little bit of a wild way, but it's not a bad shot to be to make. Right, it clear, it's clear up there. There's nothing that's going to change its angle, so it, can, it looks like it would be pretty enjoyable to do if a little wary. And I, I guess with, uh, you know, running through the gauntlet, not too much time playing each of these games, yeah. they're probably a little uh, less inclined to take that chance. There are, there are many players on Raven making that chance, though. And we'll, We're seeing a uh, lot of people try to target the back spinner. To supersonic. Steven Zoller up here hits the four rollover. He's got three of those center. Let's see how he takes the speed. Bonus. Takes the dead bounce. We've seen a lot of players go for either the, the trap or the uh, dead the uh, drop catch. But most importantly there, he completes one, two, three, four, five. Scores himself a nice 25,000. All right. He's got... 19, 20, 20. Yeah, he's got his 40 in bonus right now. 
Oh, yeah, with a 2x from the top. That's right. So he's going to want to get it back in that hole. Let's see yep. what he can do. You can hit it directly. You could also yeah, bounce into it. He will take a drain off of that, but he'll end with 89,000, which is a solid score on the solid Supersonic. Score. Yeah, he has to worry about player four. Oh, well, Howard's going to have to put in some work with that player two score. Uh, player four starting at 61,000. Looks like there might be a little bit of a switch error there. Scored 100 points for free, but it looks like everyone's been getting it, so I think yeah. they're just playing through. I think one of the targets is uh, being a little sensitive, so. Gotcha. That adds up. So, big plunge here. If this goes in the tooling, that's 25,000 and the lit spinner. All right, Nick rolls the one. Let's see what he does. Hey, he gets the immediate oh, out lane. Ouch. Tragedy strikes here on Supersonic. All right, so Nick looking at a two right now, but might end up with a one if uh, Howard works some points on his compensation ball. Corey's going to come in here with the uh, camera, get the scores, and we'll have that for you as soon as they get started. Let's see. We got some action on Little Chief. We'll switch over there. Steven, Steven Zoller playing Little Chief. He's got the... He's Again, got the another big bonus ball for Steve. He's got, yeah, he's got 10,000 with double on, so that'll be 20,000 when he drains. That's a nice in lane, too. I bet he's really hoping. Oh, oh that that's good. tragic. That looked really that close. That looked good. Um, all right, he's at 26,000. So he's sitting at a, oh. He's sitting at a win right now as long as he doesn't tilt. That's a good point. Yes, he is. But at this point, you might as well cash out those points now instead of uh, wait for them later. Oh, there it is. But he will lock in 46,000, um, assuming the bonus counts down correctly. And there it is, 46,000. There you go. Even locks in the win. And I think we're about ready for our compensation over on Supersonic. We'll switch back there. Howard plunging off. Here we go. See if he gets that one. Oh. Almost. Oh, gets a three. Gets a three. Lights a bumper. All right, 100 points a pop. Gets the one. Lights some rollovers, which I think are 100 apiece when they're unlit. They're an advanced bonus when lit. Oh, is well, unlit, though, I think 100. Unlit, they're 100, yeah. yes. So big, that's see. a big thing with how much side-to-side -side action you can get here. Oh. Getting those lit early means you'll just ramp your bonus out. Gotcha, that makes sense. So that's two completions of the rollover. Yes, but unfortunately, he will take third. And that will be the end of Heat 2. Welcome. And I will be tagging out here. I'm going to be in the next Heat, so or at least the next round, right. so i got to go get ready. Thank you, Lewis. Good luck. Thanks and for joining. And Steven will be taking my place. Have Our a good host, night, everyone. Habermania himself, right. Steve, luck, Stephen sir. Haberman. Let's check out the room view while we... Uh,